absolutely love building games, and this is yet another good one. Hello again there, friends and fans. Raptor here, and welcome back. Good to see you all here for Space Haven, a game available now on Steam where you can build your very own ship and manage its crew, too. If you like games such as Risk of Rain or, well, actually even better, RimWorld or Prison Architect and elements of Factorio and whatnot, then this is definitely the game for you. We'll have to do all sorts of things like build our ship, design the interior of it, and also uh, feed our crew and give them all sorts of ways to defend themselves, too, while out in space. So, if you guys want to see more of this game, if you want to see a full playthrough, especially, make sure, please, do click or tap that like button to let me know you want to see a full run-through of it. And, of course, welcome to all the new subscribers. If you're subbing here for the first time, welcome to you. Welcome back to all longtime subs, and thanks to everybody clicking and tapping that join button to support the channel like never before. You guys are awesome. This game is entering into early access on May 21st, so just keep that in mind that you'll be able to grab it and add it to your wish list at any time. We're going to start a new game here today. We're going to start on normal mode, and we're going to start with a basic platform that we'll be able to expand upon as time goes on. So let's go ahead and name this one USS Raptoria, and all you members, make sure you say glory to Raptoria down below in that comment section too so I can heart your comment. Apparently we can also build an abandoned mining station, but we'll get started with the basic. We're going for builder mode today, because I want to see uh, builder damn near killed her. That's what I want to do here today. And it looks like we got ourselves a lot of little conditions and materials to start with, which will make it a lot of fun so we can focus on building a ship, which is what this game is mostly all about. Of course, elements of fast and light in here and a few other things too make it a lot of fun, I'd say. Looks like we have an engineer, a scientist, a firefighter, and a telemarketer. What the? Okay, whatever. It doesn't matter. Is there a way to mix up the crew? No, I guess we'll have to wait. Oh, okay, security guard, material mover, blacksmith, scientist. Oh, okay. Well, it looks like we got ourselves an engineer, scientist, firefighter. These are all good things to have. So let's go ahead and get started with our ship then. Here we go. All right, so we're going to have to set up an area for our crew to live and to eat and to breathe. And so we got to build everything from scratch, very similar to Prison Architect in that sense. Build a tools facility. This facility will transform resources to recharge your crew members' building tools. Essential for any type of building, constantly makes noise, and requires power to operate. So you can see here that the game gives us a very small and cramped area to build in. So as we get started, things will be overlapped and very inefficient, but until we can expand upon our space in space, then we'll be uh, hunky-dory as time goes on. Looks like we have ourselves a power generator here. This is an area where things are stored. This is an airlock to go out so our people can do maintenance on the outside of the ship. We had a, uh, looks like a shu uh, let's see, a shuttle? Yeah, the Calypso, which can go down to the surface of the planet here, or I guess an asteroid in this case, to do some mining for us. And of course, two little miners here, the Digit and the Nongshim, which I believe we can rename too. And these will be building our ship and expanding it a little bit later. All right, let's get started with our first thing then. Nowhere to rest. Our crew wants a place to sit down. So let's go ahead and start up here in this corner then. If we go to furniture, yeah, we can put down a couch. So that'll be one of the things that they want to start with. And then uh, possibly an area to sleep too. So let's build some beds maybe like over here. Maybe we'll build like a, a wall or something on this other side. We really need things to be cramped because, uh, well, in space, space is apparently limited. So we'll have to try to build everything in a very tight quarter. So that'll be good for them to start on that. We also need to build ourselves a tool facility as it tells us. So everything's going to be needed here eventually. So under facility, we have ourselves a toilet, uh, hyper sleep chambers, arcade cabinets. I assume this would probably be under resource. Then if we click on this, it did tell us that it's found under build men menu, objects, resource, tools, facility. And it is right here. So we'll build this next to whatever this thing looks like. It looks like a heat sink. So our people are going to get working on all sorts of things. I love the details in this game. And I love the fact that we have to manage power and oxygen and food and water and crew uh, fatigue. And we'll have to fight off pirates. It's going to be quite an interesting game, I must say. Lots of materials here, too. We see that we can mine for things that look like maybe silver, gold, coal, and I don't know, maybe space ice. I don't know, liquid, uh, frozen hydrogen. Who knows? It, it could be anything. So we'll find that out over time. Looks like we can put down some walls, too. So that might be a good thing to start with as well. Although it'll use up a lot of our materials, but I'd rather do it now than later. So that way we can try to maximize our space usage in space. I wonder if we can build a toilet. Oh, is there a door we can build? Oh, an X1 door. Let's build a door there. And our ship will take shape and will be ship shape. Fantastic. Is that wall already built? No, that's a future design. Awfully dark in there. Can I build, like, a light or anything? Looks like Joey's stuck somewhere. He's, like, facing the wall with nothing to do. Ah, there we are. Looks like uh, Neville is 
starting construction on the tool maker, so that'll be perfect. We'll be able to build some more tools. Looks like Corbin is out of light. Is that Corbin Dallas? You'll have to name the movie down below. Ten points if you know what movie that's from. All right, let's go ahead and put a light down. If I put it there, it might block. Yeah, it's going to block people's access to that thing. Uh, create optimal gas conditions. Build an oxygen generator and a scrubber. All right, let's do that before we get too out of control with other side things. Under life support, then, would be our gas scrubber and oxygen generator. Might be a good idea to build, like, a like an engineering room here with all of our tools and other things and also our power. So let's try to figure out a way to kind of keep this very condensed so that way we uh, can keep all of our facilities in one area. Let's build it like this. We'll put our uh, oxygen generator there and a gas scrubber here. There we go. Keeping it nice and tight in this area. We'll have a nice hallway then for the, what I guess would be like the, actually I think these go down. They don't actually have to go out. So the shuttle can go straight down. Same with the miners. But this here is an airlock that goes outside. It looks like we have little thermal regulators here. Okay, it looks like we have two of those. I wonder if we'll need any more. Oh, good. They're starting to build the walls, too. Excellent. Soon. Soon. Now, I believe we can travel and go to other places, too, so we might see an asteroid in the back. What the heck is this? Do we have to connect to this later? Oh, maybe we can actually build over to this thing. It looks like a craft that's nearby. Oh, we can do ship breaking, then. So these are other ships and maybe platforms and stuff for mining and other things that are broken around us. So we might be able to move and go mining. And, like, uh, you know, salvage some of those pieces. Oh, it looks like we're out of electricity here. Uh-oh. All right, let's see exactly how we're going to connect things. In-floor power node might be what we're looking for. Um, let's do a little overlapping, though. Uh, let's try to build a power node here. If I build one here, we'll be able to build it up against the wall. Build a thermal regulator uh, and a wall regulator, one or the other. So that'll help to keep the inside of the ship warm. Basically, like, heaters to... Make sure we don't die, because space is uh, absolutely cold. All right, let's go ahead and try to overlap some of these. All right, now once those are built, we should be able to connect to those next. Let's also build that regulator that we need. Do, 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 do. It's the regulators. We need them. Let's go ahead and build another one there, then. Wow, our crew is definitely at hard hard work right now. Oh, and they're almost completed with this thing. Do, do we have a restroom anywhere? Is that, a, is that a thing in this game? What else do we have? Micro weavers. Oh, I'd, I'd prefer a microwave. Food. Let's see. An autopsy table. Of course, no way to get food unless you have an autopsy table. Autopsy. Sorry. I have a cold, so it's hard for me to pronounce things. Medical bed. A kitchen. A toilet. Oh, dude. We can make a kitchen and a toilet, too. All right. I think we're going to need the kitchen somewhere large because we might need an eating area for everybody. We have a toilet here, though. Uh, maybe we can make the toilet in the corner like this. Oh, that actually might be a good spot to put that. I don't know if we need that yet, but we'll we'll wait on that in just a second. All right, let's connect our power together. So let's go ahead and connect these and those. And boom, we got ourselves some electricity. Beautiful. Is there any others that I'm building? I guess another one there. So we'll keep an eye on that in just a little bit. All right, easy to learn, but difficult to master, I must say, so far in this game. Looks like we have all sorts of different materials to choose from. I don't know what some of these things are, but we'll find out as we go on. Build one of the following objects. A light or a wall light? Mm, I see. All right, let's see. You know, angels can fly because they take themselves lightly. So I guess we'll have to build a light so we can be amongst the angels, too. Let's go for power. Uh, nope. Is it under facility? Nope. Is it under furniture? There it is. Wall light. You'd think that'd be under power, but I guess not. All right. So it looks like we have uh, to connect all this stuff together to provide the power. Let me go back to the... Uh, is everything connected now? Let's make sure. Links? Everything looks linked. Okay, it looks like the whole floor is electrified. According to that, it looks, looks all good to me. Okay. Oh, wait. We'll have to build a light within this circle. Well, let's build a ground light then. That'll be good. Uh, let's keep this room nice and nice and lit. Very lit. Very dank. I guess we could put it in the corner here. Wouldn't, wouldn't block anybody from coming through, will it? Oh, apparently we can't build there. Or did I select it? Let's see. I wonder if I can rotate. Oh, I went into some views that I don't, I don't know about. I don't know about this. Okay, there we go. Panicking. Panic at the disco. Can we put our light against this wall? Oh, apparently, I can't put lights anywhere. Hmm. Build lights so your crew can see. Well, I can't put... Oh, now I can put something down. What's going on? There we go. Yeah, put a light down there. Okay. Cool. Why is this... Does... Apparently, this couch doesn't have electricity. So, I guess we need to also power the couch. Must have a massage mode or something. Okay. Well, while we're waiting for that, uh, what else are we going to need to build? I guess we'll have to build a little bit of everything over time. So let's try to also build ourselves a toilet, which is definitely something we need. So let's put that down. We'll put that here. Cool. 
It'll probably need electricity too, but we can build that later. Okay, let's go ahead and build our wall here for it. This is going to be like an airplane bathroom. Build a different door to it. There we go. So I guess if you have to go to the restroom... Ah, uh, we could build a door here too between the two beds. So that way the crew can either leave the crew's quarters or get to the restroom from the actual main area. Expand the ship's hull. Expand your spaceship hull to create more room for facilities. You can do this from the build menu. Okay. So build menu... Ah, there we are. We can actually sketch it out or build the hull now. Hmm. Well, we can't build here because the airlock's there. But we could expand our ship a little bit. So let's go ahead and try to expand this way. I think would probably be best. So let's expand, like, uh, just a little bit. Maybe, like, maybe just a little bit more. Just a little bit of breathing room for our people. There we go. That should be good. All right, we've ordered construction now. So that means our people should start jumping onto these miners to expand everything. Oh, there's an accident. What happened? Does that mean somebody's wounded? Uh, they might not allow me to do anything until a little while. You can actually see those miners leaving now. And cool, they're flying underneath, using their thrusters to move into position. And they're starting to 3D print that hull, baby. Yeah. Awesome. All right, build a kitchen module. Oh, that's my, that's my favorite module. Okay, let's go with that. Is that under food? No, it's under facility, I guess. Oh, there it is. Okay. Kitchen, right. Now, can I build that here even though this power node's in the floor? Could build it out here, and then put like a little table over there or something like that. This kitchen node is huge. Uh, I guess we can put it there. So let's build another wall. I like using this wall here. And we'll try to build it as wide as possible. Oh, I should build a little door there. So let's cancel that design. And our ship crew is working on expanding it. Excellent, very nice. Major discomfort on the ship, but we're doing everything according to the tutorial. I guess it is a tutorial a little bit, so we don't have to be perfect just yet. Looks like we can't build anything here just yet. Maybe we're out of materials. Alright, uh, I also want to cancel this one. We'll build a door here. Perfect. Alright, good. Looks like the kitchen facility is going up as well. We're just doing whatever we're told, I guess, at the moment. I guess our crew can be patient since they're, they know we're learning, you know. All right, we'll speed up time a little bit, too, so they uh, build that hull a little bit faster. I'm assuming the crew comes out here, works for a while, then has to return for either materials or to take a break. So it looks like they're docking yet again to take a little break and grab more materials. They want to be in the light again, yeah. It's kind of hard. Oh, it looks like accidents are probably caused in the dark, too. They can't see, so they're falling over. It'd be nice if lights could just be put on the, uh, you know, on the, on the ceiling or something like that. Grow bed with light. Well, it looks like we need to grow plants now for our people to eat. So that's a good idea. Uh, under food then, grow bed with light. I guess we'll build one of these here. That's a good spot for it. There we go. Oh, cannot build here. I hmm. guess we'll have to put it on the other wall. There we go. Cool. That's weird. A power node in the floor is stopping our facilities from being built. You'd think like people could just walk over that then. And then it's just like a little maintenance hatch. Just flip it up whenever it's needed. Okay, let's see what else we can build then. This would be really cool if this were an actual real ship, too. I'd love to see more of that. Where, like, you could do it on a, a ship, like, in the water. That'd be really neat. Okay, let's see if we can build some more floors and doors. There we go. Build a recycler. Transform scrap materials into a, a variety of useful resources. That's a good idea. Yeah, where is that under? Scrap, what now? Recycler? Damn near killed her. Let's see. Uh, let's see, fabricator, chemical refinery, self-user, ooh, there's lots of different, actually, ooh, there's quite a bit of things in this game, awesome. Toilet, furniture, okay, where was this thing fall? Uh, let's see, resource, under resource. Okay, let's go to resources, and the recycler, there it is. And, uh, actually, now that we got a lot more space, we could probably build it over here, by our little, uh, storage area. So let's try to build it there. And I think it'll be within the power grid, too. I think that, yep, there's a node there. So it should hopefully be within uh, the power grid. It says object not on power grid, but maybe that's just a random object. Oh, yeah. Uh, the couch. Still having some trouble with the, uh, uh, you know how it is. You gotta plug that couch in. D day one noob stuff, Raptor. Every everybody knows you gotta plug your couch in. Yeah, many of you have moved houses and stuff before. We've all left our plug behind for our couch. Yeah, all right. Well, it looks like they're not using it unless it's plugged in. So all jokes aside, we better set it up, otherwise they can't use it. So let's go power node. Oh, there's wall node. Oh, that takes up a lot of valuable space. Or does it? 
Is the toilet blocked too because it doesn't have power? My goodness. Alright, let's just build it uh, somewhere. Can I build it anywhere? Alright, let's build one here at the end of the hallway. Sometimes it's red and I can't build it, other times I can. Weird. Cannot build here, really? Between the space of the door and the corner of the bed? Huh. Or the, there's, the ca there's the corner of the couch and the wall, but it doesn't let me build there. Okay, I guess that works. We'll get that constructed then as soon as possible. Alright, everybody's napping. I don't blame them. They're all tired for the day. They've done a lot of good work so far. Next thing we're building is a recycler. Wow, we're on day two. We're on day two right now. We really haven't even done that much yet. Yet we've done a lot, too. Our facility's really looking nice so far. I want to give it to these people. Nice work, folks. Excellent. Very good. Yes, glory to Raptoria. Let's build ourselves another wall. Seems like we can't build it that way. So let's build uh, like a little, little notch there. There we go. Then we'll just put a door down like right here. There we go. I like to build the walls first and then like put a little door in afterwards. That's just my play style, I guess. Cool. So now we got the cruise quarters, a bathroom, and then this is like the commons area slash canteen, I guess. That would be an area that I would like a lot of people to pass through on their way to go to the restroom or, or to rest. They can actually uh, stop at the canteen, so that way they're ready to go. Joey's taking his morning uh, ritual, I guess. Cool. All right, now the engineering room's got a lot of space. That's definitely going to be an area to take up a lot of, lot of room. We'll have to find ways to separate this. The more I play this game, the more efficient I'll get at setting up stuff, so I'm really excited to learn a lot more over time. And it looks like this has been set up. No, that's weird. It's like one second is there, and then it's gone. I'm not sure if it's built or just highlighted. There we go. Everybody's getting to work. All right, get to work, folks. Yeah, fire up the bre breakfast machine. There you go. Walls are being constructed. Recycler is going to have to be built at some point. Joey, Neville, Corbin, and uh, Aaron, Armin. I'm going to just call him Aaron. Aaron are working good. There goes our wall thing almost up. Excellent. And the ship is almost complete, too, on adding all the extra stuff. Very good. We got our builder working over here. Now, I can't wait to go to the other ships, too. It looks like we can salvage materials from all those other ships nearby. So once we have, like, a warp drive up and running, we should be able to go to other areas and keep on, like, salvaging and, and building our ship off of theirs. I'd like to see if I can build a wall to cordon off this area here and, like, make our, uh, like our, our spaceship bay or whatever. What would you call it? The hangar bay? Yeah, to try to get our hangar bay separated from everything else. Be kind of cool. All right, looks like everybody's chatting. Uh-oh, did someone have a mean, mean discussion? Uh-oh. Looks like they have moderate discomfort now. Went from major to moderate, so things are getting better, it seems. Uh, equip your crew members. Uh, draft and equip crew members with weapons. Select a character and draft them. Oh, okay. Uh, let's see. Who's our, who's our, like, f oh, they don't say their job. Skills? Who is our, uh, let's see. Engineer, scientist, material mover, firefighter. I guess our firefighter would probably be a good one to have with a, a weapon. So what is the goal here? Um... Move them to a storage facility and interact with it to open up the inventory and arm them. So how do I... Let's see. Tr jobs. No? Transfer? Well, it's going to be tricky now. Let me see here. Uh, let's see. Select a character and draft them. After this action, move them to a storage facility and interact to open up to... Okay, so he needs a gun first. So first we need them drafted. So how do we draft? Skills, status, conditions, inventory. Uh, draft. That's what I want right there. And then how do I get you to... Pick up something from the uh, thingy here. No, I don't want to move this. I want to move my character over to it. Oh! Corbin's coming over to pick up stuff. Uh-oh. Traits revealed after the apocalypse. Uh-oh. Probably shouldn't give him a gun now, but all right. Primary, secondary, inventory. How do I get you to move over here? Ah, right-clicking. Perfect! Another learning experience for me. Now, how do I get him to figure this out? I'd like you to pick up something. And I'd like you to pick up a rifle. Uh, primary. There you go. Cool. Job done. Okay, so now we have ourselves an armed guard to make sure our people are protected. Explore a derelict ship. 
When drafted, crew members can be ordered to board a shuttle. The shuttle can be then drafted and used to transport your crew to a derelict ship. Move the shuttle manually and press a dock to select a docking position. Docking automatically guides the shuttle to the desired location. Once docked, drafting crew can be ordered to exit the shuttle at the lower left window. Weird. Okay, so we can get people on board. Well, uh, Neville, let's get you on, on the ship here. What's the options here? Spacesuit on, enter craft, or move to. Well, let's get you to put on a spacesuit. Okay. Then let's have you get on board. Then let's have the ship. Uh, how do I, like, on dock? Can we go over to another ship? This one seems like a good one to go to. Oh, it's kind of broken. Uh, let's go to a different one. Oh, these actually might be floating rocks. So I guess we have to go here to this yellow one. This is definitely a ship. So let's dock. Uh, select an airlock. Okay. Uh, I guess the main part of this ship. Okay, let's see if he moves over there now. All right, the ship is underway. Looks like a giant freighter like section underneath the shuttle. It actually looks like a like a little like it's got a wing over the top of it and then just a giant cargo container underneath. Now we've only assigned one person to go here. So probably good that they're we're just going with the one. Okay, so it should slide in right here like a glove. I should have armed everybody up, but on the other hand, maybe they can keep working on, on the thing, building whatever facilities are needed on our main ship on the Raptoria. Meanwhile, Neville is armed to the teeth and preparing for docking procedures. All right, we've 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 docked. I hope he wasn't wearing a red shirt. Oh, there's like no power here. Uh, can you exit the spacecraft now? Neville, let's see if we can get you to go out. No, 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 no. I want you to... What? No. Doc. Here. All right, let's see if it'll do it. Okay, there we go. It's docking. Good. Explore derelict ship is next. Once docked, drafted crew can be ordered to exit the shuttle from the lower left window. Ah, this button. There we go. Ooh, who, what is this? What? Why does the shuttle keep going away, dude? Park here, please. Stop that. Okay, let's explore a little bit with Neville. The ship will come back. I guess it's automated. All right, looks like we can take all sorts of stuff. Nothing in storage. This is cool. I didn't know we could raid other ships like this. Uh, let's see. Let's go through to the other side. He wants a chair? Not now, Neville. You're, like, exploring another craft here. What the... Okay, apparently he bl Yeah, take, take that chair. <laughs> he blasted the chair. I didn't want him to do that. Okay, so we have an engineering room. Why is he so, like, quick to shoot at everything? Would you calm down? Let's see what else is on this ship. We might want to salvage some of this stuff. Although there hasn't been anything on board so far. Let's try to go in here. Oh, there's a suspicious looking paper. Neville, please do not blast it. Alright, what is this? Crouch. Weapon off. Yeah, move two. Can you... No! Okay. <laughs> yeah, there we go. New day. <laughs> we had to blow up. We had to blow up the desk in order to read the paper. <laughs> that is awesome. That probably shouldn't be happening, but okay. It worked. It worked. It's fine. Looks like there's some freebie stuff here. Can we pick this up? No. Navelle, would you? Okay. Right, he's got an itchy trigger finger. Okay. Just cruise quarters here. Oh, Nav okay. What's in here? Waiting to see some sort of scary space stuff or something. I wonder if he can jump over to that other side. We'll check this 
all out, and then we'll see if we can actually go out and find out what's going on. We can set this as our home ship, so we can actually take this over and get it operational again. Now, I believe, is that blue line his uh, oxygen? I'm not entirely certain. He's got blue, yellow, and red. Let's head back here to oxygen up for a little bit. Let's get replenished on oxygen. It is there. Oxygen right there. Okay, let's take a little take a little breather. There we go. All right, let's head on back. Now, once we explore this ship, we'll try to go to the destroyed section and find out what happened here. Though we did get a ship log, so we'll have to take a look at that too and find out what happened. Okay, let's go through here. Ooh, is this the captain's chair? Lots of supplies and stuff here. I wonder how we get all this stuff. We might have to have all of our people come over and uh, make sure it's make sure it's safe. So what we'll do is we'll first make sure everything's safe, and then we'll uh, tell our crew to come over, all of our other people, the material movers, to come grab stuff. Now one thing I've noticed is if we're shooting these walls and they're being destroyed pretty easily, uh, we'll have to be cautious about that if we ever go to war with anybody. Look at those big O engines there. This, this ship actually has some engines. We'll have to see if we can get that. Okay, let's go in here now. Oh, their oxygen stuff is here. Okay, we might be able to get this operational again on this ship. Okay, looks like we've explored pretty much everything on this ship. Let's go back to our craft and go explore the small little section that's been destroyed. Looks like there's nothing else for me to pick up. But we can always come back. First is to explore. So let's get back on board our other ship. Okay, get that oxygen. Climb aboard, my man. Now, let's dock to the other thingy here. Dock with this one. Go. Alright, we're shoving off. Some sort of an explosion or something separated this ship. And it has no more atmosphere, I guess. Actually, that's not true, because if this door's shut, it might be able to uh, be rebuilt. Part of the ship might be inhabitable, and then we should be able to uh, rebuild it or something. Or take stuff from here, too. All right. Let's go ahead and have our boy step out. All right, Neville, let's see what you got here. Ship explored. The Corelia. Salvage available. Just click this for information on how to do it. Oh, build a hull stabilizer. Ooh. Okay, now we got new objectives. Let's explore a little bit first with our boy. So we'll find out through the logs what happened to this ship and why it exploded. And let's check out what's on the other side of this door. Okay. Alright, well, the ship has been explored. So now we can head on back. Let's get on board the shuttle. And uh, get back to building our own ship. And then we'll come back and salvage this one. Alright, come on home. Let's go ahead and have you dock with the uh, main ship here. Except. Alright, he's coming on back. Build a hull stabilizer. Alright, what's that under... This is really cool. I'm assuming it's probably under, like, power, maybe? Solar panel? No. Hull stabilizer. Let's see where that is. Uh, system. Under the system menu. There it is. Ooh, that's a big one. Okay, let's go ahead and put that next to here. Next to the engine, I suppose. Or this is our power. So that's a good spot to put that. How's our crew doing? Looks like they're napping right now. Oh, and this thing needs to be connected, too. So we'll finally get that light connected, too, after all. Let's go to power. No, I don't even need to do that. We just go to the power grid. There we go. And then just connect these two together. Oh. There we go. Cool. And then this one needs to be connected, too. Excellent. Excellent. Okay, so everything should be turned on. And yes, now we have a light inside the cruise quarters, although it could be off. Uh, let's see. Select the explored derelict by clicking this message or zooming out to a tactical view and open the salvage tab to sal salvage resources. The transfer hub can be used to bring salvage resources back to our ship. Note that your crew members and shuttle need to be undrafted in order to salvage and transfer resources. All right, cool. Well, we'll do that next. First, I think we need to build a hull stabilizer so we need to move so we can actually move over there. 
Uh, let's see. Reinforces spaceship's frame, strengthening and generally improving structural integrity. Uh, bolster hull beyond its normal limits. Oh, okay. So it'll actually make us stronger. So that's a good thing to, to build, too. So we'll go through both of those uh, options. Looks like uh, Nivelle's sound asleep right now. Very good. Very, very good. Okay, let's see. Um... So we need to undraft everybody, but they're napping right now. So what can we build in the meantime? Well, they built they built the whole facility so far. I suppose I could add some more stuff wall-wise, but let's get everybody on our duty of uh, salvaging the other ship. So now, whatever ship that was, fully loaded with tech. Look at that. We got a giant engine. We've got a, uh, like, looks like a command center there, or like the bridge maybe, some other offices. And possibly some supplies and stuff here. Actually, these look like they launch little shuttles like ours up here. So these look very similar to ours in a way. Maybe it's just from a different angle. Dude, I like this game quite a bit. Uh, let's see. Is everybody... Everybody's... Uh... Oh, good. Look at this. Wait. So, so-and-so thanked me? Someone thanked me? Uncomfortable environment. Oh, look. Looks like everybody's improving. The conditions are improving. Everybody's having a nice nap. Wonderful. That is very good. Okay, that's the Aurora there. Wait, what's the H... H H H S S Aurora. What the? Is that the tutorial ship we're on? Oh, I named it the Raptoria. Oh, maybe eventually we'll we'll get to that ship, or something. I don't know. All right, we're going to build that. I guess I'll lay out the rest of my ship, but we'll get everyone to go to our other ship first. So let's do that. Go to the build menu now. Let's try to expand our ship. Let's do some different walls for the crew. The um, to separate like the um, the engineering department. So we can click and drag. So we can build a wall. There, and then a door here. Oh, that's easy, too. And then, uh, I guess I'll leave this area alone. This is kind of part of the bridge, or the, um, the hangar, I suppose, is the, um, looks like this thing is empowered. Part of the hangar, I would assume, is the also resource storage, because that's where they're going to put all that stuff when they salvage the ship. Let's put another power node down, and let's plop it right there. There we go. And then we'll get those two connected as soon as it's constructed. Very good. All right, our crew is sleepy. They're sound asleep right now. And I suppose that's it for our time here today for Space Haven. So if you want to see more of this game, make sure you click, tap, blow up, destroy that like button. We've only scratched the surface of this game. But pretty cool that we can build all sorts of things, including uh, eventually hangars and uh, maybe nuclear power, fission or something to power our craft through the space. All of the, the space. So I'll see you guys next time. Thanks for being here. Thanks for leaving a like. And I hope to see you all soon. Appreciate the support as always, and I'll see you guys next time. Bye-bye.